Hello, welcome to another Gun and Battle Operation 2 video. That is the other uh, new suit, the Riga Z. Which, uh, man, I really hate when my jokes become right because uh, <laughs> I joked about the O being the uh, uh, the the New Year suit because it was yellow, and then I was like, uh, I think it was the last video, maybe the one before that, where it's like, hey, uh, be really funny if it was the Riga Z instead of the uh, the new Gundam. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Riga Z. Uh, but yeah, in this match I'm playing with uh, Taro Hitman and uh, Mick. In a good old uh, Arctic base rating match 550. Uh, and you know, just playing the suit like a heavy attack suit. Uh, I was looking for the support. Turns out there is no support on this team. Uh, on the enemy team, so um, I am made null. So I'm going to make myself useful and become a assist machine. By just heavy attacking whoever. It's almost like that Zaku 3 initial thoughts where I do nothing but heavy attack. But not really because I do throw in some uh, some of my other stuns, thankfully. Um, but yeah, let's get into the suit. Which, not a bad suit at all. But yeah, we'll start off with the, um, the, uh, the stats here. You have, well, level 1 is 550. And your uh, health is 17,000. You have 19 ballistic and beam resistance. And you have 22 melee resistance, 30 range strength, 20 melee strength. And uh, I think it's worth mentioning that you do have 70 thruster gauge. And uh, you do have 69 turn speed. And uh, I guess boost speed is worth mentioning, 220. And uh, it, this thing does have a bio booster. Uh, I unfortunately I don't know how much the stats jump up. I want to say it goes up by a little bit because it is the, the bio sensor is a little bit different from the other bio sensors. Uh, I think it only gives you a little bit of a boost. Uh, but yeah, uh, and then for slots you have 13 close, 14 mid, and 13 long. And then for uh, your primary weapons you have the Riga Z Beam Saber, which is 2,200 damage, you have 8 rounds and 350 range, and that is an instant stun rifle too, so you have 8 shots to stun, uh, pretty good, <laughs> honestly, uh, good, good stunning option, 2,200 damage, pretty decent, pretty decent damage, especially if you want to up your, uh, stats for your range attacks, uh, which you can do that when you're going after supports, because this thing does have some pretty good range combos, which we'll get into, uh, then you have the Riga Z Beam Saber, which is 2,400 damage, pretty modest uh, for a raid, and I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere that the modifier is pretty low, but uh, it does make up for having a heavy attack, which we'll get into that when we get to the skills. Uh, and then for your secondary weapons, you have a bunch of ballistic weapons. You have, uh, first of all, your head-mounted Vulcans, which are... Uh, in the brackets, they're modified. You have uh, 70 damage, 60 rounds, 150 range. I believe it takes half of, or maybe, maybe even more than half of your Vulcans to stun. They fire rapidly, but of course, if you're planning to stun with your Vulcans, I would throw in your grenades or maybe some of your uh, wrist rockets if you still have some left, or your wrist grenades. Uh, so be, be aware, Vulcans are... Uh, you don't want to rely on those as your main source of like damage or trying to get a stun. You know, you want to throw it, throw it in, mix it up with your other weapons. Um, and you speaking of the the arm grenade launcher, you have the uh, the arm two tube grenade launcher, which is 500 damage. You get four rounds, 250 range. If you play the Zeta and you play the Bawu or the Seventh Gundam, same deal here. You get the uh, grenades. I believe they stun three, four hits. Uh, and, of course, if you throw in your grenade, uh, if you throw in a grenade, you can stun with two. Uh, maybe three, depending on, like, if they are uh, they if they have damage control. Uh, so, pretty good, you know? And, of course, if you're fighting a uh, shock dampener suit, well, you can use your grenades there to get a stun. Uh, and then you have the waste two-tube grenade launchers, which is, uh, think of... How the uh, the A the A one has the hip missiles, except you shoot grenades. It shoots pretty fast, and you stand still while using them. And uh, they do one thousand one hundred damage. You get four rounds, which shoots two at a time, and then uh, two hundred range. And they're pretty good. They're pretty, again, they're pretty fast. You can use that as a uh, let's say if you stun with your grenades for your wrist grenades, you can follow up with your waist grenades. 
uh, if you have enough time. And then because of how the stun works, uh, you can actually re-stun with your beam rifle after the waste grenades, which is really good. Uh, if you want to keep like a stun lock going on a support or a general, you know, for assist. Uh, and then for your final weapon, you have the hand grenade E, which is a uh, 1,100 damage, three rounds, 150 range. But of course, it's a grenade; you can toss it further. Uh, pretty good. Uh, well, it, for a raid, having a grenade, it's not going to do too much to a general, but it does do some good damage against supports. And of course, even if you are using it against generals, like I said earlier, you can mix it up with your uh, your wrist grenades or your Vulcans to get a uh, a better stun, you know, a sooner stun <laughs> with those weapons. So, uh, there's that. And then for skills, you have balancers, you have uh, AMBAC level 2, you got maneuver armor level 2, you have force injectors level 2, you got melee combo controller level 2, a lot of 2's going on here. You also have the shield break stance, which if you're not familiar with that, if you played the Mark V or know of it, if your shield gets destroyed, you don't get stunned at all, which is good. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, and then you have uh, some, you know, leg shop absorbers. You have assault booster level two. Uh, you, you got a dodge roll, blast stabilizer. You know, don't get affected by mobile suit explosions when you're near them. Uh, you got some leg buffers. Uh, and then you have the the two big ones here. You got the simple bio booster, which instead of other suits, uh, other suits they activate at thirty percent. Uh, there might be one I'm forgetting about, but this one activates at twenty five percent. And uh, it basically just buffs all your stats, you know, your speed, damage, uh, resistances. I don't know by how much. There's some people saying that it's only a little bit. Uh, but you do get a double dodge roll, which is pretty good. Um, honestly, the way this suit works, I think it's fine. Uh, but the bio booster kind of, it's like a, a, a an icing on top, you know. It's not the super important. But, you know, it's one of those things like, oh, yeah, I appreciate that, you know. And I think it makes it, it's fine to have on this suit. Uh, even though, you know, by the, when you're going to use it, you're hardly going to have time to use your double dodge roll. Uh, unless in certain uh, situations, you usually have 25% of your health to work with. Uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, you know, again, it's just nice to have. Uh, and then you have the heavy attack with, with your beam, with your, uh, beam saber you got there. Uh, does a lot of damage, and it has great range to it. <laughs> Uh, also, by the way, here's three people ganging up on Mick to kill him. I'm just going to run in here and just heavy attack because he's already dead. So let's just go crazy. Go crazy. Go stupid. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Get a heavy attack off. Nearly kill somebody in the process. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good heavy attack. And you can actually boost out of it sooner than expected. You don't have to wait for the animation to end. And it can kind of help uh, going around distance wise like if you're in space you can use that kind of like the draw seas downswing kind of drift yourself along you know since uh you can ready up your weapon fast after using your heavy attack kind of like with these aku 3 custom uh so pretty useful and of course you know it does a lot of damage and if you hit somebody soon enough with the uh the beam saber you can actually uh boost out of it and follow up with either like a neutral, maybe another downswing, or some of your uh, grenades and whatnot. And hey, mission completed. Almost 2,000 assist score, so that's good. Top assist. Mick did pretty good in the Zeusa. Always a good support to have. Uh, and Taru did really good in the Dryson. Pretty good to have on Arctic Base. And we'll see what we got going on here. Uh, do, 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 do. Of course, there's some praises. And uh, hey, second place, 3 and 2. Lot, almost 30 thousand pursuit assist and uh almost four thousand individual score and over 100k damage so i was doing pretty good i'm fine with that absolutely uh again like i said the, the around the beginning of this video they didn't have a support we figured out they didn't have one so i just had to play uh like sometimes i do with <laughs> heavy attack suits uh, avoid most uh, confrontations and just come in for a heavy attack do some other stuff get some stun locks play assist you know and this suit works pretty fine with that. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll get into the uh, pros and cons of this suit. Uh, honestly, uh, I guess I'll start off with the uh, the negatives, which there's hardly any I can think about besides some basic stuff. Uh, first of all, uh, you're a raid. So uh, 
<laughs> so of course you're gonna be taking extra damage from uh, generals, uh, stuff of that like. Uh, so just especially at 550 and 600, there's gonna be quite a few uh, generals that can fuck you up if you're not careful. So uh, that's just that goes for any raid really. Uh, however, one thing that is a considerable negative is that the resistances on the ballistic and beam are actually on the lower end of the raids at 550. It's not the lowest, but uh, it's one of the lowest uh, with 19, 19. Uh, there's some suits that have 20 or higher, so it's not like significantly low, you know. But still, it's on the lower end, so you might want to buff up your resistance resistances. For me, I buffed up my uh, my beam resistance. And then I went for a general buff on my uh, my range and my melee uh, attack. And I think for space, I actually just ignored my resistances and I went for uh, boost gauge stuff. Gave myself boost gauge and melee damage and range strength again uh, to buff up my damage. Because, you know, if you're in space, this thing has force injectors, level 2, 70 uh, boost gauge. You attack, you know, you attach some more... Thruster gauge, maybe give yourself some cooldown parts. Yeah, you'll be dodging and weaving pretty, pretty good, you know? Uh, a lot of things. Dodging, weaving, pretty good, yeah. <laughs> dodging, weaving, a lot of things if you are a good enough player. And, of course, has some decent boost speed as well. Uh, so, yeah, the two negatives there was the, uh, it's a raid with uh, lower end defense stats. Uh, another thing is uh, the biosensor. It's not going to be something you're going to be relying on too much. You got 25% of your health left for it. Uh, not really like a major negative because honestly, I would actually make that a positive that has a bio uh, sensor because, like, again, it's like an icing on the cake. Uh, another negative is that this thing has some pretty, pretty weakish leg health. So I would give this some leg health uh, if you plan on staying around in the battlefield if you're going for just glass cannon build you can go ahead and just fucking whatever leave your <laughs> leave your legs alone uh but you know for me I, I like to build my stuff to last a little bit longer in a match so uh i go for leg health and i guess it's a decent thing to have too because they just now added that uh that extra part for your legs where uh you take one percent less damage oh boy one percent less uh well it still helps but <laughs> you know one percent uh and then for some positives, this suit's actually really good, um, like, general-esque suit, uh, with a lot of raid stuff added to it. Uh, for one, the, we the, the the kit of this suit, the weapons, they're actually really, really good. Uh, the beam rifle is a pretty good beam rifle, maybe not damage-wise against a lot of generals, but, you know, you got eight stuns to work with, that's really good. Uh... A lot of opportunities to get your melee swings or maybe do some uh, other stuns, you know. Add some more damage with the other weapons. The uh, the grenades and the, uh, the Vulcans, while they don't do a whole lot of damage, they work well in getting you stuns, even against suits that have maneuver armor and shock dampeners, which is really important because that's what makes a lot of suits that have a similar kit like the Bawu or the Full Armor 7th Gundam really good. Is because that's a really great defense <laughs> defense kind of thing going on, you know? Especially with something like the Full Armor 7th, where if you have Rage chasing after you, you just whip out the arm grenades, boom, 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 boom. Four shots, they're stunned, you can defend yourself. Same with the Balu, when a general is coming after you, and same with this suit with those grenades. And then if you don't want to use your wrist grenades, you have the regular, you know, the hand grenades, throw those, use your Vulcans or two of your wrist missiles, and you get a quicker stun. Uh, and possibly some leg damage off, and you know you can set up a, a melee combo situation, you know, or you can just <laughs> run in with your heavy attack and get free damage, uh, depending on the situation. But yeah, so pretty good uh, kit and uh, pretty good weapons. Uh, well, the same thing, but you know, pretty good, uh, excellent, I would say. And then of course, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the bio booster, the simple bio booster, while doesn't help out too much. Well, it does because it gives you extra resistances and uh, attack damage and speed. Uh, that's that's still really good to have, you know. It can help you clutch out some extra damage to maybe kill somebody, maybe survive something just long enough to uh, hang in there, have some teammates come in and help you. 
Uh, so pretty good. Uh, and of course, you get stuff like Maneuver Armor level 2. You got Force Injector level 2. You got a little bit level 2s here. Shield Break Stance is really good. So uh, all in all, this suit's surprisingly really competent. Uh, I don't know why. I just keep remembering a lot of... A lot of isn't there something in Char's Counterattack where people are making fun of the Regazi or something like that? I haven't watched it fully yet, but I know that sounds like a sin. Uh, but I remember a lot of people making fun of the Regazi, but in, the, in this, it's actually just really, really good suit. Uh, really great to have. Although there are some things I really wish this thing could have had. It, it would have been a really unique idea if this thing started out with its BWS booster uh, unit, you know? where it's in the transformation mode, and maybe it has infinite boost, and then if you ever get shot down once, uh, oh, there it goes, now you're stuck in mobile suit mode, or maybe you can disengage from that mobile suit mode, or from the, the flight mode into mobile suit mode, and then you know, if you die, you can respawn, you're back in your B, uh, BWS. Uh, that would be an interesting idea, kind of like in Maxi Boost, you know? I think. Was it Maxi Boost? Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but... Uh, you know, interesting idea they could have done, but I'm still fine with how this is, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. I wish I can go into more, uh, detail about the suit, but it's, honestly, it's just a nice, simple kind of raid, but it works really well. And surprisingly, it's a two star. Uh, I think with all these, uh, nice things this thing has honestly you feel like a three star i don't know why this is a two star and the uh the efreet schneid is a three star but they should be switched around but i guess they want more two stars but yeah this thing all of its combined skills all of its useful weapons it has uh the only bad thing is you have lower end resistances like i said uh this thing is really shaping up to be a, a really good raid um Honestly, I think from memory, I don't play a lot of 550 raids. Uh, I know the complaints are really good. I know the ball woo is really good. I think those are what people consider like the top two. I don't know which one's the first of the two, but uh, I know those those are the top two. Uh, I can see the suit sneaking in there, you know. Uh, it's definitely got the damage output, or at least the stun output as well. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. Uh, surprising too, even though, um, well, uh, I would actually recommend this, uh, but you know, obviously a lot of people are saving up their tokens for the, the next week for the anniversary because they revealed that's when the anniversary, uh, drop is going to happen. So, uh, we're getting the new Gundam, I think, possibly, maybe, maybe it's going to be the, <laughs> the Riga Z custom, which, hey, that would be really awesome too. If, if it's going to be as good as this suit, that would be really amazing. Um, uh, but yeah, honestly, I was really surprised with this, uh, they could have just went, like, really predictable, this plays exactly one-to-one -one as a Zeta, but it doesn't transform, because this is supposed to be, like, a mass production Zeta, but no, they, they kind of added some stuff to it, um, uh, and, you know, it works fine, again, I'm gonna say I'm very surprised, and again, I, I'm not much of a raid player, but, I, this would probably be a suit I would pick, you know, if you're, if you're a raid main, that uh, likes to shoot a little bit. Maybe if you like the ball wheel, you'd definitely like this suit. So I totally recommend it. Uh, and yeah, I think that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.